Okay, guys. Now it's time. Let's do this. Load game. What is our most recent one? Looks like it's this one right here. Look at that time difference. 1956, 2314. I didn't save the game for like four hours because that was all on the same day. That's wild. Okay, I think this is it. There we go. <laughs> yes, this is where we left off. So if I go look at... Let's see, where is it? Um, not report card. I thought there was a way to like look at the previous things everybody said. Maybe it's not here. There it is. If you hit select, you get that. Um, so yeah, uh, Kyoko was talking to us and telling us where she's been when she's been busy, when she disappears, which is very shady. And she says, the boy's bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And the storage closet there, way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boy's bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? So this is where we're going to go check out right now. She is one of my favorite Chili, which means we're probably either going to get double crossed or she's going to die. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> I'm a little worried now, Michael. I'm a little worried. Okay, so boys' bathroom in the back. Let's see, where are we? Do I remember the layout of this place? Are we even on the right floor? Let's see, I don't think so. Wait, it's back here, isn't it? This is like the pool and this is where the boys' locker room is, right? Boys' bathroom storage closet. Wait, the boys' bathroom would be like right here? Right? I didn't even know there was a storage closet back here. What? Oh, there was something to look at right here. Oh, there is a little thing right back there. Okay. It's just a normal storage closet as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? Am I looking at a bucket? She said it was way in the back of the store. This is a trap. <laughs> this is totally a trap. Oh, Sheely, Andy loved bug snacks on PS5. You should definitely check that one out. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, as if I were being yanked in, secret wall. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it wasn't a trap. I expected to get like hit over the head or something. At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Ba-bump. <laughs> so we actually don't know exactly what we're looking for, Michael. We were just asking Kyoko, where have you been when you disappear? And we're all busy searching. You were like just were missing. You know, you weren't helping anybody. Where, where were you hiding? And she told us that she found something back here. And right, we're going to find out what it is exactly. All right. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door. And I'd made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. And I want a hidden room Correct. in my house. That'd be so cool. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. She was not lying to us. That is true, Sheely. Uh, oftentimes, when there's a good sale on Steam, I'll buy a game even if I own it somewhere else. Because I like to have everything in one place. But what's in here? Alright, let's see. Only two things to look at. The stool and the books. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. That was boring. <laughs> okay, the books. There's a bunch of files and what look like volume after volume of yearbooks. Do you guys still have your yearbooks from like high school or junior high or any of those? They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope Peaks Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had the chance to take a look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. Oh no, <laughs> what is this? I don't like that note. You must not leave. That's kind of weird, do you think? 
I could understand it if it said, I can't leave, but you must not leave? Is that like directions to me directly? What is this? My head feels funny. The strange sensation. Oh no, are we being like drugged? It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. Oh, I hate that feeling so bad. What do I know? What don't I know? I... Oh no, it's a tarp. <laughs> Who was that? A strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Yeah, at least it wasn't a giant Gundam robot that attacked us. Ugh. Ow. Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. But what the hell? They attacked us, but we didn't get killed. We didn't get captured. They just knocked us out to knock us out. It's like, hey, look what I can do. Crack. Oh, all the files are gone. Hmm, somebody's trying to hide something. Maybe this is that was the person that was actually behind everything. Whoever's controlling uh, the bear and all that. The empty bookshelf. Empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? When my brain refused to do any more work. <laughs> I feel like that every day. The insistent pain on my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room, get some rest. Oh, you're switching over to Disco Elysium? What type of build do you think you should make? You've gone all in on Psyche and Physique before. Do you think I should go for something more balanced or go all in one stat? If you've already played it before, Sheely, I definitely think you should focus on a different stat because you get all unique um, scenarios and stuff when you're really specialized in something. You get like a truly unique gameplay experience. Yeah, that makes me think it's kind of the guy running this whole thing, Michael. My body was heavy with pain. My mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. Ugh. Oh, we really got wrecked. The further I walked, the more I felt. Things are getting blurry. Can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Hmm? I hear something. As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. I like that at the top it says time unknown because we got knocked out. We don't know if it's morning, nighttime or anything. That sound is coming from the gym. All right, I guess we're gonna check that first. Do it, Sheely, do it. I remember I watched a playthrough after I had already beaten the game where somebody in Disco Elysium had like maximum I forget the skills, honestly, but it was like um, where they were like very spiritually apt, you know, and when they were at that big mob meeting, they could like talk to somebody in the shadows that like didn't even exist in my game. And it was really cool and really creepy. <laughs> I wish I had seen that. As I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. The hell's that noise? What's going on? can't be nothing. Here in the gym? Alright, let's go in there. It was Psyche. Okay, sweet, Sheila. Yes! And Motorix, that's what you need for, like, combat and stuff, right? Or not combat, but any kind of physical stuff. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sound coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Else happened? Oh, you know what? I bet it's, I bet it's Sakura like doing some training or something. Oh, is she fighting the bear? <laughs> what is going on? Before me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure. But 
Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why you? What do you think you're doing? Why the hell is she fighting him? What's going on here? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. Oh no. Sakura is the one that's kind of like um, going against everybody. That sucks. Oh, uh, all the dogs are barking. Andy's not home right now. She's still at this work thing, so there might be a lot of dog barking today. The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. What's going on here? I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? That must have been it, Sheila. Yeah, it was really neat. I wish I had seen that. You haven't forgotten, have you? We could be concussed, Monkey. I didn't think about that. What I'm holding hostage? Ooh, she, he has leverage on her. <gasps> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? Hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is... Yep. Oh, man. We actually probably could have continued that. Although I was already, like, so far beyond where I wanted to be in the stream. It was so late. Surviving students. We only have seven students left out of, like, the 15 we started with. To be continued. So that's the actual end of chapter three. Hey, we got an item. We got the Super Robo Justice present. Nice. Hell yeah, I want to save. Why are we having to see this again? I don't get it. Leon killed Saya. Oh, are we doing kind of like a uh, breakdown of all the previous deaths, I guess? Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Ifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. And then Celeste got executed. And that brings us up to now. That's kind of a nice catch up of everything. I like that. Gosh, there's not many characters left. Okay, that's what I was thinking it was, Sheila. Yeah, very physical stuff. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> Only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Hmm. That's true. <laughs> hey, Sa Sakura, uh, we got something to talk about. <laughs> Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? And that's what it sounds like. Can that really be true? Hmm? Makoto. Are you okay? Uh, uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, see, that's terrifying because she could destroy any of us at any second. You gotta be very careful. And, uh, Roddy Bops, how you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. Let's see, you walked into the top stream on here, not knowing it had so many viewers and you realized it had a thousand? That's crazy, Roddy. That's, I mean, for this game, that's a ton of viewers. That's awesome. Good. I'm glad people are bringing uh, more eyes to this game. That's awesome. I'm really digging the series. I mean, I've, I've played only a few visual novels. I'm not very well versed in them, but uh, this one's pretty unique. I really dig it so far. Oh, and we're missing Biakue. Oh, no, Biakue, he never comes to these things anyway. He kind of quit back in like chapter two or something. Early on, he's like, ah, screw you guys. I don't want anything to do with you. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Or we could just tell everybody. <laughs> okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. That's a weird, sad way of thinking about it, but whatever their food storage is, <laughs> now they have more food because there's less people to eat it. Huh? Uh, what do you mean, in that case? Because, I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? 
If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's see, are you gonna do everything the series has to offer? Not right away, not right away. Now I like to jump kind of from game to game and I actually have a backlog of games viewers have requested with like our channel currency. So we're gonna jump to a couple other games, but definitely a possibility we'll jump back into this sometime. Although one thing I've noticed, visual novels are kind of tough to stream <laughs> because I can do two things but not at the same time. I can play the game or I can chat with you guys, but there's not really possible to multitask. Where in a lot of games, I could be like running in a direction and be like chatting with you guys. And then I have to stop when, you know, there's like story or something. But in this game, I can't read the dialogue and chat with you at the same time. So I've noticed that they, they seem to take me longer to play. Okay, let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. That sounds delicious. Uh, that's like deep impact style, meteor impact, extinction level combination of food. Deep impact? <laughs> Have you guys seen that movie? It's kind of a deep cut. I haven't seen that in a long time. That was uh, Morgan Freeman. Huh? Uh, what? Those are both breakfast top time sellers. <laughs> Still, we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. We still have a lot of, uh... Yeah, other stuff to check out, too. We're not done. We haven't gotten out of here yet. Uh, let's see. And Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 has a streamer mode you might want to try. Oh, what does it do, Phantasma? What does the streamer mode do? And uh, they have the food that restocks every... Oh, that's true. It always does bring back the food. So I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're not going to run out. And you'll just say this, one of the games in the series is not a visual novel, and one of the things isn't even a game or visual novel. Oh, just like an anime or something? And it lets chat vote. Oh, I'm down with that. It depends how often it is, Phantasma. I've, I've found with those games, if it votes too often, it can slow down the flow of the game. So sometimes I just like to use it for like major decisions. You know, I did that with uh, Disco Elysium, where I could do it for every single decision, but then the game doesn't move. So whenever there's like something really important, then I let you guys pick. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. Yeah, usually we get like a whole new floor, huh? It's true. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out, Phantasma. That sounds fun. I like it when they give you that integration. Plus, we have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. Hopefully the laptop, you know, proves something useful. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathly thoughts. She's always about food, isn't she? You know? Like, when are we gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious. Er, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well... Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not going to die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. Um... Huh? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits... <laughs> I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me the, from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. <laughs> Worse than a coin flip. Hmm... That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. Actually, you'd be better betting against him. You'd, your odds would be better. Well, yeah, it's not like ESP or whatever, of course. I'm only going to get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. I told you, my fortune telling isn't some kind of occult thing. So, um... Fortune telling isn't a cult? You got it all wrong. Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. They mutilate cattle? I thought it was goats. Chickens. Cattle... what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. That's not a cult. <laughs> it's aliens. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend. Ooh, Roddy, I'm scared to call out a favorite because every time I have a favorite, they die. But I think my favorite right now is probably Kyoko. Kyoko and Sakura, and by now we just found out Sakura was actually working against us. <laughs> Michael, you and 0% accuracy fortune telling, right? <laughs> and most of the decisions aren't timed, so you could just ask. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I think we could probably just use it as we need it. Phantasma. And Byakuya is pronounced Bya... Is pronounced Byakuya, 
but not however you pronounced it. I swore it wasn't pronounced the way you did. Oh, it's probably not. My pronunciation is worse than his fortune telling abilities. So yeah, if you know the, be the proper way of pronouncing it, let me know. I'm sure I learned it at one point, but now I'm butchering it. And the Sherlock Holmes streamer stuff is neat, Jumi. It's got Twitch integration that has a quest log and map. I think the streamer can choose what actions to vote. Oh, that's really cool. It sounds like they like went more in depth into that. I like that. And did you read your other couple messages? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I saw you were saying that um, there was like an anime, a third person shooter, and the other three are visual novels. I'm surprised there's a first person shooter or a third person shooter in this game. That's kind of interesting. As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. We got mm. abducted. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been to before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. Don't they all say that? So, Bia Kuya, right? Is that correct? Or Kuya, Kuya. I guess I could say that both ways, but I think Bia Kuya. So, I got a burger to go and headed home. But. And before long. The end is nigh! The sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. <laughs> Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. They stole your burger? <laughs> and as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. That's messed up. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. <laughs> they returned the lettuce. One part of it just vanished while the rest fell back into my hand. Oh, they just took the burger? Like the, the hamburger part? Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. I don't get it. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. <laughs> or because they wanted... me. They wanted hamburger and because it wasn't all cow, they got rid of it maybe. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. So, biakuya, like that? I started saying like biakuya, like almost getting rid of the B and bia, not like that. It's the end of the world. It, hey, it convinced him there's aliens. So, I stormed back to the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. Oh. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of, how dare you? Oh. Well, you do stink though. Hmm. Oh, that's fine. Huh? That's fine? Um, anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. Although saying I would never kill anybody, that's exactly what somebody who would kill somebody would say, right? <laughs> And the emphasis falls on the ya, so biya kuya, so kind of like that biya. And he's saying that the patty itself broke apart. Oh, only so I thought like part of the whole burger disappeared. Like <laughs> he didn't want the bread or something. I gotcha. I gotcha. He could he could only take the actual cow. But well, to be honest, I wish biya kuya and toko were here for this too. But but they're so hard to deal with. The only. Th they only think about themselves. Ugh. Yeah, we're better not off without them, I say. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weaknesses and fragility. So not ku, just ka, like kaya, kaya. All right, starting chapter four. <laughs> right, Sheely? Ah, pedantics. <laughs> Grammar. Uh, we began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what opened up, what was waiting for us. 
<laughs> okay, now we're getting a little particular, Roddy. I'm not going to worry about it that much. Because <laughs> it's very, very particular, that's why. Let's see, did it say where it wanted me to go next? I might have missed that. Oh yeah, just to find out what opened up. All right, so let's just go exploring, I guess. Get out of here. It's like, mm, yeah, you're saying it wrong. You, you, you put an extra half a millisecond on that one syllable. You're way off, essentially. Ah, <laughs> oh, Junko, we, we, we barely knew her. We barely knew her. Wait, I can actually like teleport around, huh? I guess before we do that, we should uh, check around and see what else we see. Elegant Frost. I mean, to let them get through all the commercials and stuff. I don't know how long it takes. You never know how long Twitch commercials are going to be. Could be like five seconds. Could be 30 seconds. I usually like to wait for there to be some kind of, uh, you know, somebody in here chatting and then we go. That's probably good. Elegant Frost. Welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How is it going, Frost? It's good to see you. I saw you streaming earlier. You were working on um, Baldur's Gate 2. I jumped in there, I was looking for a bit. How is your game going? I love Baldur's Gate back in the game. It was such a fun one. Um, I've only played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, and I think the expansion for 2. Um, I don't think I ever played the expansion for 1, but I can't wait for um, Baldur's Gate 3. It's gonna be so good. I know, monkey, right? Rude, monkey, rude. It's not the size that counts. Trust me, you'll hear that later. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Um, okay, where are we going? Let's go to the third floor. I don't know if there's a fourth floor we can go to. <laughs> let's see here. Yep, there is a fourth floor, so let's see if that opened up. But yeah, um, I'm sure you played the game before, Frost, but what are you doing in this run in Baldur's Gate 2? Well, and speaking of which... Where are my manners? There we go. If you guys could, be sure you click on that link and give Frost a follow. She plays all kinds of awesome games, and uh, yeah, Baldur's Gate's just one of them. Such a classic RPG from my childhood. I say childhood. <laughs> I, was, I was an adult when I was playing that. And who is the best waifu and husbando? So when you say, I mean, forgive me for my ignorance, when you say waifu, like the character you would like to wife or the character you would like to husband, I'm guessing is what that means, exactly. Oh, Chihiro. Oh, yeah, it looks like the fourth floor opened up. Um. Oh, it is your first playthrough, Frost. That's awesome. I'm very curious to see what you think of it so far. How are you liking it? So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough one, Roddy. Um... Honestly, that first character, I thought she was really cool until it turned out she was trying to kill us. That was, um, what was her name? I mean, maybe that's why, because she was trying to woo us, essentially, trick us. But um, Sayaka, I think her name was. That would have been the first waifu. <laughs> and then Husbando? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe like early Taka, before he went all crazy. He was kind of funny. I, I dug him. I trusted him, you know? Yeah, I say Yaka, that's who I'm thinking of, yeah. And you're really enjoying it, Frost? So much more party banter talk in Atmosphere versus First Game. Oh yeah, they improved that tremendously. I think Baldur's Gate 2 might have been the first game where they really had like a big focus on your side characters and their own little missions. I really dug that. Okay, so maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. We've never been here before, I don't think. Have we? That's the ladies' room. Can't go in there. He says there's no reason for me to go in there, so maybe we can later. Let's check out the men's room here. Chihiro is pretty awesome. I mean, I wish we could have had more interactions with Chihiro. You know, I, I it was so sad that they had to go the way he did. We haven't been here at all. This is all new. There's like a music room. It's all kinds of stuff here. Oh, nice. Bug Snacks was super fun. I didn't play it myself. I got to watch my wife play it a bit. No good. The door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. 
According to the nameplate, it's called the Data Center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. I mean, probably computers and servers? <laughs> Let's see, who did you do free time events for the people who died? Or who did you ever do or even do free time events? We've pretty much tried to spread out the free time events with almost everybody. I think I've done at least one free time event with everybody. What is this? Oh, it's like a music classroom. That's cool. What are you doing here? I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Let's see, is there anything in here that's useful? It looks like it's all the standard stuff. Like clocks, cameras, windows we can't get through. <laughs> I love that. Great minds think alike. I love RPGs. I just have such a hard time with the uh, time commitment. That's why I'm liking Elden Ring right now, because I got my wife into it. So it makes it way easier to spend time playing it because it's a us activity, not me uh, squirreling myself away and doing something without you activity. Okay, nothing in here. <laughs> that makes it so tricky, right, Frost? See, and I would probably play them more often on stream if I like to play off of stream as well. But I, I feel like that kind of does um, you guys a disservice if I play a game on stream and also play it off stream. Because then it's hard for me to catch you up on what you guys missed and you didn't actually experience it the same way I did. So I always think that's unfair. So when I stream a game, I never play it off stream, only on stream. Oh, Roddy, no clue. Could could be months. I would say it'd probably be at least months before, if we even do start it. We've had a few games. We've done the first one, but haven't gotten to the sequel. Like uh, Dishonored, um, Mass Effect. There's a few um, series we haven't actually continued yet. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Oh, speaking of visual novels, we also started um, Ace Attorney. That game was so long. It took me like 60 something hours to stream it. Just the first one. It was good, but a very long game. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So. About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah. Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. When I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I have suspected the Mastermind might come after you. <laughs> so you were setting me up, is what I heard, huh? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Hmm. Still, I wanted you to go in and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Yeah, you set me up. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. Oh, Roddy, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room... That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the Mastermind's identity. Then, you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What? <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. Nobody handles being attacked. It's ridiculous. And Frost, your brain tells you you should do the productive or you should be productive, so it's hard to sit down and play something on your own. Plus, now you just want to stream everything you play. I know. I know. And if I'm not going to stream it, something tells me like, oh, if I play this game, it'd be cool to do some kind of YouTube content on it or something. But I just don't make the time to do that. And Sheila, you find it so funny you can die in the first room of Disco Elysium. <laughs> That's like trying to get uh, something off the um, fan or something, right? If I remember correctly. And you wonder how the third person shooter game is going to do on stream. Good question, Roddy. How, how was the game? Did you play it? Did you like it? And Souls League games aren't your style? You enjoy watching them, though. They're tough. You gotta have a lot of patience. I streamed, just because I wanted to test out the PS5, I did two streams of Demon Souls. But that was it. Then I want to play the rest on my own. 
<laughs> You're a man. Take that knife, baby. So you have it and you like it, but also, oof, oh no. It's extremely dark. I like dark stuff. And you got to have that Dark Souls death boss at the beginning. <laughs> they all have that, right, Asifa? And Frost, Disc Elysium is on your list for this year. Seems really cool and replayable. I think you'll really like it, Frost. It's got one of the coolest stories I've ever played in the game. I really dug it. It also has Twitch integration. Like, you can have the viewers uh, vote on certain things. Okay. What does she think a boy is? Like, you know, invincible? Fine. I understand. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Oh, uh, we need to go where there's no cameras. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. <laughs> True, Frost. True. I definitely did some votes when I was playing that game. Nobody responded. Either they were too scared or <laughs> they just were lurking and not actually, like, active, ready to click a button. So... I only did it for like the really important stuff though. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. Yeah, we actually played a game recently, Roddy. It was another visual novel kind of like this called uh, Death Mark. <laughs> it was really dark as well. So now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? That's... Oh, yeah, we are hiding something, actually. True. What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? <laughs> I like the dark. It's my friend. I <laughs> love that. And, Shili, you helped boost your stats for rolls? Oh, yeah, you can do that, Shili. I remember. That was actually really cool. Yeah, so you can actually have your chat, Frost, help you with certain really difficult roles. They can't win it for you, but they can j bump up your percentage to like success by like 25% or something. And Roddy, you're thinking that whenever you get to it, you should probably put a warning that the content is gonna be rough. True. I, I think the darkest game we've ever streamed, Roddy, was this game called Martha is Dead. That was pretty dark and gruesome. I don't know if I've played anything quite that dark yet. Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friend or secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have any ed evidence for it. I mean, we need to tell her what we know, but you can also put the asterisk that we don't know for sure. We don't have any other ev evidence. Let's tell her. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. Good. There you go. If I talk about it now, I could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing... Oh, wait, are you just repeating yourself? So I can't tell her. Is that what you're telling me? Why does it give me an option? <laughs> I could try to tell her as many times as I want. It's not going to work. <laughs> the illusion of choice. Thanks, game. All right, I won't tell her. Oh, so what kind of content uh, was dark in it? It was all kinds of, uh, like, sexual abuse, physical abuse from, like, parents. Um, some of the actual, like, physical stuff that you saw happen in the game were absolutely gruesome. It was a first-person game. And I guess spoiler alerts for Martha is Dead if you haven't seen it, but there was a scene where um, you actually carve the face off of your sister peel off the skin and put it on you. It's all like a uh, very, um, I guess, alluding to other ideas in the game. It's really crazy, crazy game. But yeah, it's it's pretty hard to watch. Definitely pretty hard to watch. Shili, <laughs> I love the illusion of choice. Yeah, it was definitely overly gruesome for sure. Okay, let's not tell her. <sighs> Sorry, I can't tell you, not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. Hey, you did the same thing, Kyoko. I don't want to hear it. However... But, do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. As far as I'm concerned, I get like two chapters of keeping silence before I have to tell you anything. Because that's what you did to us, Kyoko. I'm sorry. I really am. That's fine. Goodbye. With those at her, as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone.
oh yeah, there's a lot of self-harm stuff in Martha is Dead as well. So I really, I mean, honestly, what would be a trigger warning really depends on the person, you know, depending on what you have problems with, some things are going to be more graphic or terrifying than others. I think I made her mad. She can't take her own medicine. Let's check this uh, piano back here. Oh, I got to take a screenshot of that for um, therapy Android. Let's see, what button is it? F12, I think. Yeah, that's the screenshot button in Steam. There we go. Every piano I see, I always have to take a screenshot for therapy. <laughs> is this a grand piano? It seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. Hey, I wonder who can play piano in this group. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Just the usual cameras and stuff. What what kind of screenshots do you like to keep, uh, Frost? It's kind of a fun idea. I actually like that. Like anytime you see this in a game, take a picture. <laughs> of course, you are limited by my memory to queue up when I see one of those things, but I will definitely do my best. <laughs> it's like you're playing a real role-playing game, right, Shilly? It's so funny. Okay, let's check this room. What is this? Looks like a presidential room. The Headmaster. I imagine this is locked. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Huh, the door is locked. Damn it. Waffle Master, welcome back, dude. How you doing? Let's see. I did see your IMD page, yeah. Um, and you love being part of the crew working on set? As soon as your IMD page, page will be built up uh, to known for. That's so cool. Awesome that you're working on that stuff too. I wanted to ask you, Waffle, because that was part of um, like your your college's like you know film program. Which one of those short films was your favorite that was not the one you worked on, I guess, out of all the other ones you've seen? Oh, I missed a door right there. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Nothing that crazy. <laughs> it's got to be within reason, Roddy. That's too many. Too many screenshots. Oh, if I ever see a bas basalt rock formation, like the hexagonal rocks, they are everywhere. That might be kind of tough for us. Let's do something more obscure. Something more unique. This is the office. But of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. What's funny is Therapy was actually taking these screenshots herself in all these games before, but whenever I was streaming the game and she saw it, she's like, oh, can you take a screenshot for me? Probably because I can take a screenshot and not have this ugly mug right in the frame, you know? When I do a screenshot, it's just the game by itself. <laughs> oh, look at all these. Are those sunflowers? No, they don't have the dark spot in the middle. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Hey, I'll take that token. Same as the other one. Oh, but you can get more tokens if you check each one. Yeah, so I meant, I guess what I was getting at, Waffle Master, is when I looked at your video retakes on YouTube, I saw other short videos from the same college. So I imagine that your whole class, there's other people doing other short videos. I was wondering if you have ever seen any of the other ones and if you had like a favorite. Have some self-confidence, John. No, I refuse. Depends on what I'm doing. Depends on what I'm doing, Sheely. Okay, I think that's all the tokens we can get here. Oh, there's a picture of Hifumi on the ground. Oh, is this going to be one of those pictures where everybody's happy and it's weird because it doesn't look like the current time? Huh, there's a picture on the floor. This picture? What? Oh, and look, um, Sayaka is still there. Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Yeah, this is the other one we found. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Oh, he even has his camera too. 
just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here, including Sayaka. Yeah, we all had like kind of temporary amnesia when we got here. We woke up in a classroom. Maybe somehow they wiped memories of uh, the classroom we had together or something. No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> You're fake. Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then, you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there were such a thing as a Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Wait, what about third? Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something you can't that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Here's another wild idea. What if those murders that we saw where they all got killed was completely an illusion? So fake somehow. And they're actually all alive somewhere else and these pictures are coming back to us. I don't think that's what's happening, but it's another possibility. Let's see. Oh, you have seen many of those short films. Uh, you would say your favorite one was from a uh, film program would be a short film called Solidarity. And it is now being made into a feature film. Oh, that's so cool, Waffle Master. There's the dream, right? You want to make that short film so good it gets picked up. And those flowers look like asters or Indian blanket flowers. Those are beyond my realm of knowledge. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. And uh, you love how much Kim just deals with your BS. Um, I just love Disco. It's such a good game, Sheely. Such a good game. <laughs> just a big prank. That's all it is. Just a big prank. Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? I mean, it's kind of weird that we're only seeing pictures of dead people, right? Dead people. There's no live people in these pictures that are still in the game. It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case... Hmm... Is there anything else we need to look at here? Yeah, I loved Kim. Kim was probably my favorite character in that game, Frost. I think we did everything there. What other rooms can we go into? It looks like a science room right here. It looks like there's a fifth floor. This place is huge! Ah, I got two characters in here. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Hey, Makoto. Huh? You need something? No, it's nothing. Huh? You sure? Okay, then. Oh, he's so supportive. He seems like a really fun dude. He's kind of, you know, a little uptight but still a really cool dude. Sakura is lost in conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? No, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. All right, let's check out what's in the medicine cabinet. It's a remarkably big shelf and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. The hell are you going on about? Okay, Hina, just chill out. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, created. Oh yeah, she wanted something before, didn't she? Okay. And what? They even have Priotismine X. Well, what's that? Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh. A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh yeah? This is amazing. It's a gold mine. Ah, oh, my prayers have finally been answered. It's time to load up more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about. 
but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk with the others. Bam! And we teleport right there. It's so handy. Oh, that's true, Frost. Yeah, the, the meaning doesn't quite have the same thing it did when you said it back in the 80s or 90s, right? And Waffle Master, that's right. We just have to take an upper division major classes next year, so you'll have four more upper division classes to take. It's going to be a busy year, Waffle. And you're guessing you'll be taking three by spring 2023, one in the summer, and then your jet ed in the fall, and finally on to graduation. That's really close. That's coming up so fast, Waffle. Congratulations. So what do you want to do after school? Do you have a plan? Or anything like more specific, I guess? And you can't help but laugh every time Brock says stuff like, all my Pokemon are rock hard in the games. <laughs> Phrasing. Phrasing. Not long after I got into the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, uh, this is everyone? Well then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Well, I discovered Sakura's doing some shady crap. How about that? Yeah, good idea. I'll start with Sakura. Huh. Metal sheets had been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them bunched an inch. In other words... Just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. <laughs> now, Brock was that... I think we played him pretty early on when I was playing Pokemon um, Let's Go Pikachu. Like He was like the second gym boss or something. Maybe even the first. I felt like it was pretty early on. Hmm. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center in the headmaster's room. Ah! The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock the measly door down. Yeah. What was that? What? <laughs> I was going to say, couldn't Sakura just take care of that door very easily? Pong, pong. No, please continue. <laughs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? That the curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Uh, hell no, I didn't. Hey, Then what did you now. say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? You're Teacher had such faith in you. That's and my room, you know. You repay me with betrayal? It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? <laughs> there I am again, Michael. Just when you least suspect me. You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um. Uh, no, I was just kidding. Uh, please don't get mad. Damn it! I'm not mad. What? What? You're totally mad. This is. Kind of depressing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add this rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's the rule, you jerks. <laughs> I mean, makes it more of a game, right? Let's see, and uh, Waffle, after school, you're probably going to go find an internship in the entertainment business and apply to a production assistant at a studio. That is awesome, Waffle. I'm so excited for you. <sighs> uh, is he gone? <sighs> Phew. Man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was going to kill me for serious. Well. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. We just can't break it down. Doesn't mean we can't get into it. Yeah. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> uh, I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, but... It's not all good stuff, though. Yeah, I was just thinking about that earlier. Like, crap, if there's a bunch of, like, chemicals, there could be stuff people could use to poison each other, right? There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um... there was also, um, a bunch of different poisons. There it is. Hey, Shan, how you doing, dude? 
Poison? Hmm. Poison. Uh, they were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. Um... And we probably shouldn't tell, um... Byakuya or Toko about the poison, right? Trying to get it just right. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Well... Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say, because we don't trust them. That's what you're saying. Uh, um... Uh, just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Byakuya. It wouldn't be long before he discovered it for himself. Ooh, if someone else is going to die, who do you think it would be? Hmm. I feel like we'd probably lose Hina or Sakura this chapter. Maybe both, but I think if somebody's going to die, one of them would be most likely. Or maybe Genocide Jill. Maybe Genocide Jill. Because we haven't seen her very often recently. Let's see. And you really dream of being a film producer and directing a few short films before you start feature films and distributing them to theaters. But it's going to take a while to build that up. And it's a lot of money that goes into production. Oh, 100% waffle. But luckily, hopefully, it won't be your money. That's what you got to do is you convince other people to put their money into it, right? <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, but, you know. That's absolutely the work of a mastermind. Yeah, Jill and um, Biakuya. Biakuya? Biakuya? That's how you say it, right? Biakuya um, is off doing their thing. And Jill is just fawning over uh, him. Okay, we haven't talked to her yet. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um. She did the same thing to me! Hey, hey Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right! She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Oh, she's excited for the drama, isn't she? Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ugh, this is bad. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they needed to say? Hmm. I think so. For serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh -huh. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone, do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. What? That's... no. I have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo and Chihiro and Leon all together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal coverings on the windows. <sighs> so, the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. And now you found one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. But... Uh, Sakaya. But how can that be? Conspiracy! Onokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it, there would have been some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand? It's so sad seeing characters that are dead all happy and enjoying their life. Uh, can't be. It's a fake. But Monokuna said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died. Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on! Come on, guys, stop fighting. Or your, or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. 
you still so conflicted? What? Hey, there he is. Haven't seen him in a while. Oh, you take care, Waffle. Thank you for dropping in saying hi, dude. And let's see. And Shilly, that's right. If there's one thing I know about myself, it's that I'm a total raging feminist. Wait, who said that in uh, that game? Was that... Um, uh, who were we talking about before? Kim? Was that Kim that said that? Yakuya. <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? <laughs> yeah, she is, Ross. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Uh, sorry? Just a second! Oh, that's your character that says that, Shilly. That's right. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. Uh, that's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and will always be, completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Oh, wow. Let's see how it is. Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Biakia, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do something, or might do some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I love that quote, Michael. And it seems to come up more often than any quote from Gabriel Knight. But what's funny is there's nothing to do with Capri Suns in that game. But there's like some French word that to me kind of looked like Capri Suns. It's like Capri Sun or something like that. I forget what it is. So, so, some French word. So, from some French term. And I just started calling it Capri Suns. Because I used to love this as a kid. Maybe we should all go take a bath. Giggity. Mm. Ah, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath. Okay. A mixed bath. If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. <laughs> Ooh, a mixed bath. How exciting. Zoom. Nobody's getting naked. We're just here to look at the laptop. Hey, there's Jill. I was wondering if she was already dead. When I got to the dressing room, Toko, um, I keep forgetting, Toko's sane, Jill, insane. Toko was sitting alone at the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say too? What's your problem? I already heard it with Master. <laughs> with Master. Ah. <sighs> You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Well... No, I made Master a promise. Mm -hmm. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> <laughs> if it's what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. You just love being mistreated. <laughs> well, fine. If you want me gone, by all means. <laughs> oh, and she's lost it. <laughs> now she's Jill again. Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> uh, we'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, and now a super sadist. <laughs> the writing in that game is so good, Sheely. So good. Yep, you are you are assuming correct, Michael. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. What? You SOB! Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and bake. How about that? Come on, Makoto. Give her the old one-two combo. One drop to your knees, two beseech. <laughs> I like that. Why are you acting like you're not a part of this? 
as I was, I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, please, I'm begging you, will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> I'm on fire! Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. <sighs> so even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. That's crazy, not a bad. Jeez. Okay, let's see what this is. You really came. Everyone, come closer. Closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on his laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Hopefully there was some good information in this laptop. Uh, um... Uh, I'm starting to get nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was sharpened, like, was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then... Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the only one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. <laughs> Why would we ever listen to everything before making judgments? <laughs> That's crazy, Doc. It seems because that's the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is exactly how they described the uh, event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? <laughs> Otherwise known as the tragedy. <laughs> you know I have to do it, guys. I mean, it was a tragedy. That's all it was. Just a tragedy. It was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, wow. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to se sequester the students here, where they live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would Hope's Academy as administrators want to shut everything in like that? Hey! And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry. Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. You know where it probably was? In those files in the secret bathroom room that is now gone. And that's all he said. What? What? Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Wait. So? There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. Oh, can you tell us where the key is? Mastermind. Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. 
Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading to Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. There's something. You know, it's a guy. Late 30s. I don't think any of us are that age in this group. So it's somebody we don't know. We've never met before, I guess. It seems possible, but even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster? Is here in the school? Dun dun okay. dun! Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. Well, remember we caught her, like, talking to somebody like earlier where... Somebody had like some dirt on her, right? And uh, she was almost being blackmailed, I think. I forget exactly the details, but I don't know. There's some crazy stuff going on with Kyoko as well. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. Sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. Uh, then it is it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. Yeah, about them. Uh I need to break it to you. A heavy silence falls over the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? Um... I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. And Taka and Hifumi were the most obsessed over this laptop. We had to, like, watch them because they wanted to keep it all to themselves. Sorry. <laughs> I love that... It keeps the personality of like over apologizing for everything, just like uh, Chihiro actually did in real life. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. I began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I see. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. If we ever power you on again. <laughs> With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So, Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But I kind of feel sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I did, but what, a, uh, but what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? I mean, if you've had a lot of computer problems, you may tell your computer good job when it does something successfully. <laughs> just being honest. Hmm. Well, no. But... When we talked about Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I felt the same. Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can't tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? 
But you know, the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. The alter ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. They were describing the Turing test, where you actually get to like interact with an AI and see if it is believable, if it could trick you thinking it's a human. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different than us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> Then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... So anyway... What? What? <laughs> He's so random. Everyone just like, shut up, dude. Uh, don't so anyway, that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted. I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, <laughs> there's another anyway. Uh, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, Just but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Hey, do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. Uh, what was that about Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? what? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter, Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It was a tragedy. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch much news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry. Nothing comes to mind. Seriously, Michael, this keeps getting more and more interesting, right? Anyway... That kind of event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Uh, maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us will remember that. Could it be? Then maybe they covered it up. I don't know. It depends on the origin of those pictures. Because if those pictures are actually from the past, then you can't trust your memory at all because they wiped it, essentially. That would explain why none of us knew the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. But right now, there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well... But even then is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh yeah, good idea. Yep. Then I... Uh -huh. huh? Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... <laughs> no, I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Byakuya's gum gonna be so mad at me. <sighs> Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um. Good call. <laughs> like she's crazy. Let's just move on past her. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, of course. Ba -bum. My heart is pounding and pounding away. Mm. It's pounding with anger. Angry. It's because we're all conspiring. Or conspiring behind you, behind your back in that bath where you have no cameras. <laughs> You're not still mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? <laughs> oh, that little matter doesn't... Or that little matter doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an incident mixed math, but that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. I feel it building. Now My head's I'm about really to... angry! <laughs> I don't like to talk over him. 
my hands about to boil over with rage. <laughs> Please! Uh, don't get so angry. Here, let me... Uh, let me help center your chakra. What the hell's chakra? <laughs> poom, poom. Etch this on the walls for your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. <laughs> an eye for an eye. A fang for a fang. Huh? A fang for a fang? <laughs> Be careful. He just chanted the incantations of devastation. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? <laughs> is it already nighttime? This is a school wow, I that was quick. It is now 10 p.m. Although sometimes these like chapters go through multiple days. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. I think the only place we can't really go at night is the diner, right? Or the dining hall. And then Correct. due to our own pact, we should all be in our rooms at night, I believe. I mean, it might have been Sakura. Uh, Michael, I'm not sure. She was doing some shady stuff with Monokuma, the way they were talking. So, it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um, uh, I agree. It's true. Very well, then. In that case, time for bed. Here come the crazy dreams. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my head. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned this, or had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy. The tragedy, guys. That's all it was. <laughs> Which had happened a year before. And apparently, the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. But I still have to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Here's another set of Monokuma Theater. Let's talk a bit about where I was uh, at before I became a bear. At first, I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a trigger prawn like I had hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp, but I didn't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So when the lady totally started laughing at me, she was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, she decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! What? I don't get it. You're at a store, they didn't have the shrimp you want, boom, you're Monokuma? <laughs> sure. Sure, game. Sure. Alright, it's morning time. Back to the dining hall. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. I think time I can skip these because they feel very repetitive, but I'm not 100% sure. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. At any time, they could drop some new stuff in there, right? <laughs> Best origin story ever. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Now I knew it. Always got to check our room a little bit. Just make sure nothing's changed. I'm so glad the dining hall is like right next to 
our rooms. Very handy. So, Michael, I want to ask you, now that you're done with Elden Ring, what are you uh, putting your time into? As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. Oh, nice. How much of a deal is it on, uh, Phantasma? And is, what store is that on? Is that on the Steam store? <laughs> uh, what, what are you scaring at? Uh, Toko? What's your problem? What? You, you think your eyes will just rot by looking at me? <laughs> what the heck? Fine, then don't look at me. <sighs> I think she's just surprised to see what the breakfast meeting is all. It's true, she, she's usually with, uh, Byakia. Mm. Indeed. It has been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Nice! Oh, see, that's totally fine. That's totally fine, Phantasma. Oh, I never played Dying Light 2. I liked the first one a lot, playing co-op, but never tried the second one. Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> uh, Byakia said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force drop it down to my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Hina. <laughs> you have great powers, Phantasma, but with great power comes great responsibility. You know, speaking of Steam, I ordered my Steam Deck on Monday morning this week. It finally came up for me to order. So I got that on order and it shipped from, uh, what was the term, like processing to shipping soon. And that was earlier today, like around noon or so. So I'm hoping to get shipped out maybe tomorrow if I'm lucky. And I think they do two day shipping, which would be great because I actually have Friday off work. And if I have that to play around with, that'd be fantastic. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, uh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. Man, now she's just avoiding us. That sucks. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said I wanted you to to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirtylandia. Dirtlandia? <laughs> Reminds me of John Cadia. I like that. You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? No, no, not at all, Phantasma. Yeah, feel free. Go ahead. No, I, I appreciate it because honestly, in like an hour or so when we're wrapping up the stream, it may be totally gone. So yeah, good idea. At least it'll be a reminder next time I'm like chilling at my computer like, oh yeah, I gotta check that out. I'm telling you, it's not like that. Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. Well, look how red she's turning. <laughs> it's no no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Huh? Shut up. <gasps> you and that lusty body of yours. Whoa. Whoa. Where's the bomb camera when you need it? Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Oh! Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. <laughs> your, your midnight sextra... <laughs> what? Sextracurricular activities only put us even more danger. I love that term. I've never heard that before. Sextracurricular? Please! S stop it. You'd like to... You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big, fat, chalk tight. Whoa. Going for all that extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. And... That's amazing. Indecent ideas are coming to me one after the other. Bastard! So, would you rather have your... Uh, your black eye on the left or the right? Hey, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. 
Uh, let's leave Toko alone. Uh, she's gone a little funny from all her pent up frustrations. You know? Sweet, thank you, Phantasma. Uh, anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had the chance to talk about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Let's just try to do it here with everybody right here. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, ah now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. <laughs> Are you in heat, Makoto? Don't dare or don't care who they think they are as long as they got the right equipment. Just the worst. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. <laughs> what the hell? Why is this happening to me? Well, can our talk wait until tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. <sighs> For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had minor aches and pains. Huh, is that? Ah, from all the fighting. That makes sense. It must be because of that battle. Um. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You know, it's funny. Protein is like one of the harder things to get enough of, honestly. Unless you're like a huge meat eater and you have meat like two or three times a day, it's easy to like not get enough protein. So you actually have to kind of watch that to make sure you, especially if you're like working out and trying to build muscle, you got to have a lot of protein. Hey, you guys like worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Makoto, I don't know if it's what you... If you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. <sighs> Why do I have to wait till tomorrow? It's morning. It Like, we just woke up. <laughs> How about later this afternoon? Eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Huh? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually eat in front of other people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What the heck? Uh, what about your family? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah. I used to live with my dad and my mom and my mom. Huh? You had two moms and a dad? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. Yeah! Uh, that's like a serious issue. It's just, <laughs> what do they call it? Polygamy? <laughs> Not the end of the world, dude. Ah. <sighs> Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her any more than you have to. <laughs> How dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours. Oh. Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. If you don't mind, or if I don't, Kyoko will never show up. <sighs> uh, pretty miserable situation, man. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But anyway, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Yeah, you don't want to get on Sakura's bad side. I mean, I'm a little worried about what she was doing talking with uh, Monokuma, but at the same time, now it's like... I, I always felt very safe around Sakura, right? Not so much anymore. That's a bummer. Okay, let's see who we can go chat with. Um, how do I do this again? Look at the map. I think this shows me where everybody is, right? All right, so Sakura is in the room. I'm probably going to try to go there just because I don't want to wait till tomorrow, but I'm sure we're not supposed to. I'll probably just say you can't go in here now. I guess I should press the doorbell. It's you. I'm sorry. Is it okay if we talk more tomorrow? Right now, I need to rest. 
How could you be in so much pain you can't have a simple conversation? Like, we were having that conversation in the dining hall, you know? It seems like you're just avoiding stuff rather than, like, you physically can't do it, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's the only person here. Let's explore the other floors. Where is everybody? Aha! Everybody's on the fourth floor, where all the new stuff is. Let's talk to, um... Hina. I mean, Hina's good friends with Sakura. Maybe she'll know something. How do I teleport? There we go. Okay, she was in the music room, I believe. Oops, I think I skipped it. Um, yeah, very suspicious, but at the same time... I missed it twice. You move really fast in this game. At the same time, though, it's like... I don't know, she seemed to be coming around, right? And oh my goodness. Welcome, Welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How are you doing, Raiders? J Red Gunta, thank you so much for that raid. How's it going? And Storm and Key, how's it going? Good to see you guys again. Let me give you a shout out really quick there, Gunta. How was your stream? What were you playing, dude? Let's see, you were working on Elite Dangerous. Now that's like the space combat kind of game, right? I have not played it myself. I think I got it fairly recently on sale because it was a game I kind of want to try in VR sometime. I believe the game has VR support, which if it doesn't make me sick, it'll probably be a really cool experience. But how are you liking that game? Uh, I don't know too much about it. I have heard it's like very complicated, very involved. How's it going? And you need to play that one again, Hasifa? And with a VR and flight stick would be the best. Oh, I bet it's super cool in VR. How you doing, Storm and Key? It's good to see you. And the stream was excellent. And you also got it on sale. Nice, nice. It's been out for a while, but it's one of those games they keep adding stuff to, right? I feel like I keep seeing updates for this and that and all this stuff. People often compare it to... Um, what is that game that's never going to come out? <laughs> uh, Star Citizen, is that it? Is that the one I'm thinking of? It's like a really big crowdfunded game that's been around for a long time but is like you know always in production never going to release they just keep taking in money and not doing anything I'm, i mean they're making progress but very slowly very slowly where elite dangerous is like a fully functional game doing a lot of the same kind of things let's see it's definitely a lot to take in but you are enjoying it and it has a good community okay that's important especially if you are playing online or you know, even just browsing forums and trying to chat with people. That's super handy. Nice, dude. Well, thank you so much for the raid again. I appreciate that. We are um, trying to figure out what kind of secrets people are hiding in this game right now. Uh, nobody's dead yet so far. We haven't had a murder, so we're not trying to figure that out yet. Hmm. Okay. Pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? <laughs> Wait, what is she talking about? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Oh, 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 of course you were. I knew that. Uh. I knew that. Oh, uh, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. Um, should I talk to Hino for a while? <laughs> sure, why not? And Hasifa, you were lucky enough to get it before it came out. And you got the Founders Pack that gets everything new for free. Oh, is that in, um... Uh, Elite Dangerous, Hasifa? I was going to say, there's no way Star, Star Citizen gives you everything for free. They, Some of those ships, I think, in that game cost like hundreds of dollars. Maybe even like thousands of dollars. Like, I've heard of some people that have spent literal thousands of dollars in this game that's not even out yet. Um, yeah, let's spend some time with Hina. You got it! You want to do some stretches with me? I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah, let's see what we got. Actually, I forgot. We should have gone and done some more of that... Uh, I was going to say slot machine, but it's more of one of those like quarter machines where you get like a toy every time. Okay, what would she be into? She's really into working out and swimming, right?
maybe a Mr. Fastball, but I think that was for that other character, Leon, that died earlier. I don't think she would care about it, necessarily. And you can also check these things for um, descriptions. Available only at the Posh Maiden Road, which is geared towards female fanfic fans. I feel like that would be more for Hifumi. Oh, have a good night, Shan. Thank you so much for dropping in. Oh, of course. Oh, I totally understand, Gunta. That's how my grades are. I, I mean, I only quit streaming when I have to go to bed anyway, so I totally get you. Have a good night, get some great sleep, and uh, hopefully we we'll talk to you again soon, dude. A water flute. You mean a bong? A unique type of flute. You pour water in the base and blow on the top, which can create a variety of sounds, similar to chirping birds. And ancient tour tickets. Hmm, I don't know if she'd care about any of these presents, to be honest. I don't know, what do you guys think? And Hasifa, you need to set up voice attack with Elite Dangerous to use uh, voice commands and have various sound packs uh, for feedback. And you can have the voice of William Shatner or the voice of Cleo from Red Dwarf. Oh, that's really cool. Having Shatner would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I prefer Patrick Stewart, but William Shatner would be very funny. Oh, you know what? I bet she wants food. I forgot she's like a huge food fanatic. This thing says it's made from expensive, high-quality ingredients. We should give her this. <laughs> hey, thanks. I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? I think so. Is there something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second! I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die. Like a bunny. There's a swimming pool. Go swimming. <laughs> Go do laps. <laughs> but I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. What? Rabbits die from loneliness? Is that a thing? Whatever. I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would have I join the six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. It's the big one. She's got, or she got to her main sport, but ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be, I thought it was... Swimming? I thought we talked to her before about swimming, so I'm going to go with that. Hey, I like that sound. <laughs> Your main sport is swimming, right? Hmm. Yeah, you got it. I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports, even for you? Why is she so upset? She can go swimming anytime she wants. Well... If I can't move, I just shrivel up and die. I'm not like huge like workout enthusiast or anything. I like working out, but I I feel her. I feel her when I take like a week off of working out, like on vacation or something. I start to feel a little weird and antsy. Like I actually like the feeling of being a little bit sore from working out regularly. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge. Cause I mean, what I really love about sports isn't winning, you know. It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. That's the excitement, that fear you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... But when you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell the reason Hino was so amazing and how hard she could fight and struggle. So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Does she just call herself? Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make excuses? 
Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? <gasps> That's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. If I want to become a genius of effort, I bet that Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. And let's see, Michael, another game you've been playing is uh, Sifu. Oh, I heard about that one. That's a, like martial arts game. It's a third person, yeah, beat em up. And it's really good, but difficult. And you don't know if you've heard of that game. I I've, I've, haven't like watched a trailer or anything, but I've seen little snip of, snip of it, snippets of it in other videos. I've heard it's really good, but tough. Yeah, just like you're saying. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna go do some push-ups in my room. Like maybe around a thousand, a thousand push-ups. I died before 40. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Alright, ooh, and we got some more skill points. Nice. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room. And then we leave our room immediately. What is the point of putting us back here every time? I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. So really, I guess I could just teleport from here. I don't even have to leave the room. I think I should talk to one of them more. Well, who do you think, Jill or uh, Hino? Or Hero, sorry. Did they move? I could have sworn they were somewhere else before. Where's Hero? I think we should talk to Jill. The hero's one of my least favorite characters to talk to. He just starts going off on <laughs> on all this crazy clairvoyant hippie stuff and I don't know. I don't get him. I, do, I just don't get him. Where is she? There she is. It doesn't show you exactly where they're on the map. It hides him pretty well. What's up? You want to go on a murdering spree with me? Um, is it really a good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? <laughs> sure. Oh, wait. What items do we have to give? Let's see who else is around. Before we do that, let's go... <laughs> right, Stormin? It's... She's something else. And what's funny is, we're in a place where our objective is to kill each other, but nobody wants to do that. Um, but we actually found out that she actually is a serial killer. But she hasn't killed anybody in here yet. Kind of weird, huh? Because when somebody's killed, we all do a trial and we try to figure out who did it. And if they get away with it, then they win. Really the objective of the game. Kill somebody and get away with it. Yeah, let's get some new presents before we give out any more. Oh, these are getting expensive to not have repeats. hell is that? Paperwork? <laughs> That's a terrible present. Is that a lump of coal? Looked kind of like a piece of poop, but it was like black. I don't know what that was. Don't know what that is. Let's do a few cheap ones. I'm not gonna go too expensive. Even at 15%, we should get a lot without repeats. Maybe let's do five at a time until it gets like well above 20. Maybe over 25%, then we'll start to put more into it. We already had one of those before. One thing I, uh, when I was in Japan, I saw a lot of is they have a ton of those claw machines, but they're like massive claw machines and you get like legitimate, really expensive gifts out of there. I don't think we had that before. We 
We did have that before. And that. Okay, we're hitting a lot. Let's do one more at the cheap rate. Now uh, we have that as well. Okay, let's do one more with 10, and then I think we'll get out of here. You do get a lot of these tokens when you complete a trial. Hey, I don't know what that is, but something different. We don't have that yet. Okay, now we'll go talk to uh, Genocide Jack, who was back this way. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> Every time. Okay, let's hang out with Genocide Jack. You want me to kill you or something? Mm, totally not adorable. You're not even close to getting me heated up. Oh, but we can give her scissors when we give her a present. She'll love that. The time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost valuable. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? I don't even know what happened. Oh, did we learn anything? Okay, where are those scissors? Cheers, here we go. We'll give this to her. Hey, this is... It's a bomb disguised as a present. You're working with everyone else and trying to kill me. How would she not like scissors? Scissors are like her thing, right? Although she does like very specific scissors. Oops, maybe not. Okay. Well, allow me to return the favor, you bastard. I think I made her mad. She probably thinks worse of me now. Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have spent time with her. Man, I thought that was a foolproof plan. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. It's nighttime. Attention, attention. Well, this sounds different. Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, 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 quickly. Hmm. Something different here. What could this be? He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. Yeah, she only likes her very specific scissors. Although I will say, Frost, her scissors look awesome. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. Yeah, Frost, I remember you streamed Baldur's Gate 3 a while back, and I assumed you'd played the other ones. So that's so cool you're finally getting back and actually trying those old school ones. Um, I'm definitely yeah. excited when Baldur's Gate 3 finally comes out because... Um, Divinity Original Sin 2 is one of my favorite RPGs I've played in a long time. See, that's the gym, right? Just teleport there. We should probably save it. <laughs> that's a good idea, right? I haven't saved it in a long time. Oh. Hey, you're not resting. Can we talk to you right now? Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you going in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than more than a feeling. <laughs> more than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together after all. Sakura? Well then. Makoto. If something happens to me, you know. Huh? I'm sorry. No. Never mind. So then... I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um, Sakura? Sounded like she was saying, if something bad happens to me, can you take care of Hina? Maybe. Something like that. Uh-oh. Is the stream buffering for you, Frost? It looks good on my upload end. I have been having a lot of internet problems lately, but luckily it seems to only last like a minute or two, maybe five. But right now it does look green on my end. But if you're set to 1080p, you might be struggling if you're on Wi-Fi, potentially. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Ooh, movie time. Means I get to have a drink.
all that for that. <laughs> well, he pops up all the time. Why did you have to do that? Okay, let's get this show on the road. Hmm. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm. That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? <laughs> I is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again. <laughs> No, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low the totem pole of life you really are. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, the I'm reason, feeling black. The reason I gathered you all here is so I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? Oh, good. Or it just could be Twitch being weird too, Frost. Uh, that's what I pri primarily blame. We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Biakia. Uh, you've, always, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey, um... So guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. We knew it. We knew it. Ah, you break my heart, Sakura. Breaking my heart. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What? Uh, what did you just say? <laughs> he said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar! There's there's no way Sakura's a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> And I just might make Sakura fulfill the promise uh, she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to the hostage of mine. And she's getting blackmailed too, it sounds like. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with the information is up to you. Thrills, chills, kills! Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! Either way, I can't wait. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> suspicions confirmed. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. I was way off on my early guesses in the game, Michael. Um, I mean, once we saw that fight scene, we kind of knew for sure. But before any of this, I thought first it might have been Celeste. Because she was always, like, not worried about being in this place. And then I thought it might have been... Um, uh, Kyoko, because she seems like she's kind of in on everything. She knows a lot more than she's given on, you know? In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? What the heck? So, what does that mean? What? what? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. <laughs> but that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong! You're wrong! Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> His reactions. <laughs> then he was being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's got to be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. I mean, that's probably true. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. <laughs> what? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. Yep, you called it, Michael. <laughs> Way back when, right? And I think they might have told us that there was a spy. Or no, no, no. I think 
Abyakia had just said um, that there could be a spy. There was likely a spy for some reason, but we had no idea who it was then. I saw Sak Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw that? The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. Uh, he's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. Hm. How could we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff, and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know. That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please! She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on! Next question. What is this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill ev to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I mean, that's what everyone's trying to do, but she, uh, it seems like Monokuma directly tried to blackmail Sakura. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong. I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that. <laughs> You don't have to yell. Can we hear you just fine? You don't have to... Or don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible! It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take my responsibility. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean, if you both go down? Hina. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but... Sakura... I'm sorry. Wow, she's going to go fight the mastermind? But I don't know. Uh, we don't know who the mastermind is. She might only be able to fight Monokuma because that's the only person that actually shows himself, you know? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I got to take a really quick bio break, guys. I'm going to use the restroom. So let me set you guys up with a little battle royale. You guys can also murder each other in chat, and I'll be right back. Good luck, everybody.
<laughs> what the hell? I'm not supposed to win. You guys are supposed to kill me and Robocadia, for that matter. They're all dropping extra tokens so somebody can grab that. <laughs> I rigged it so I'd win so easily. <laughs> rigged. That was actually perfect timing. Just as I got up to use the restroom, um, I heard the garage door open and the dogs went nuts. And Andy just got home from work finally. It's 9.30 at night. She's been gone since like, I don't know, 7 this morning or so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long day, very long day, so it's good to say hello to her. We don't have too much longer in the stream. Anyway, so I'll get to chat with her and find out about later. Nice catch, Hasifa. Switch back over here. There we go. Okay. So we're finding all about what Sakura has been up to. She turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Wait. It's already nighttime. Oh, wait, it wasn't like closing the dining room nighttime yet. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school mm, announcement. That's 10 PM. As such, soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay then. Sweet. We've heard that so many times. I'm going to kind of skip through it. <laughs> well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. No way. Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible. No, Sakura's not our enemy. Why? Oh, poor Hina. Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? That's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. But you need some time to think about it. <laughs> it was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad the day was over. Some creepy music in the background now. Sakura is the spy? She's the traitor. Byakuya said that Sakura is the enemy. But he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Here comes our weird dreams. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear! <laughs> it's weird that they just recorded one line out of that whole monologue. Good morning, everyone! Alright, it is morning. So to the dining hall. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Luckily, they place the dining hall so nice and closer there. Oh, what if I try talking to Kyoko right now? Kyoko, good morning. <laughs> totally ghosted. She's still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Ugh. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Good luck with that. I do think she's very much overreacting. <laughs> Uh, Makoto, are you okay? Consider she kept secrets from us. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko? Byakia? What are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's tool? Are you talking about Sakura? 
<laughs> I mean, if you're going to get attacked by somebody, that's the last person you want to get attacked by, right? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? What? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because she makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what did you say? Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. I'm so shocked Hina and Hiro have made it this far. Considering just kind of how dense they are, it's amazing that they survived this long. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think of things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye? However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words... In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand and argue like children? But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she can really beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot, you'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> it would matter. Huh? What? <laughs> If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakya. Hm. In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Oh, snap. Did uh, Hina just slap him? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, she did. You disgust me. You're... You're a monster! To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die! Whoa! Okay, careful now. What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Then, are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it, if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. <laughs> it would be so funny if, if there's a character we all hated that much. Oh, but we have to pin it on her. I was going to say, because if she killed him, we can't just be like, ah, we don't know who did it. Because if we fail to pick the right perpetrator, we all get killed. So never mind, you can't do that. You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants. And it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that stupid cow. How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So, she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's just what other people call having feelings, Byakia. It's all you can do, and all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. Alex, how you doing, dude? Good to see you. <laughs> no worries at all. Um, unfortunately, we got about maybe 20, 30 minutes left in the stream. So you are kind of reaching the end. But I'm glad you could drop in, dude. Are you at work right now? I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, um, how about we uh, eat? Or uh, maybe now's not a good time. You know? Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one.
And oh, it's getting close to lunchtime. Nice, dude. Nice. What have you been up to lately? What's new? Phew. So what should I do today? <laughs> do we even want to have free time? <laughs> Things are getting serious. Okay, but there's no death yet. You only get free time when there has not been a death, I believe. Actually, no. Let's look at our map. This is so much quicker than walking around trying to find people. I actually really like this system. Like, it takes something that was really annoying in Ace Attorney and makes it very easy. I should probably try to talk to uh, Kyoko again. And if that doesn't work, maybe Sakura? In any case, let's teleport there. Okay, so where is she hiding? There's Hiro. Let's see, you spent the last two days resting and doing some off-work editing for your possible YouTube revival. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Very cool. So what kind of um, YouTube videos are you editing together? There she is. She probably won't talk to us. Anyway. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. <laughs> or that. Yeah, I think she spoke to us. That's an improvement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're in the office. She's in the chem lab. Let's go talk to Sakura in the chem lab. I mean, it makes sense. She's probably stocking up on that high quality protein, right? Do you guys take any kind of supplements like that? I, I do take whey protein. Well, I, I don't say take. I make like a little, you know, shake every time I work out with that whey protein. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Hmm. Let's make that opportunity then. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you still stand by me? <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. And hell yes, we're going to give her a present. Although, I can screw that up too, so I gotta be careful. And Alex, you decided to do some low to medium effort videos, like highlights from the streams for those who missed them. Not general highlights, but ones from one game or topic per video. Nice, dude. No, that's good. That's good. Any kind of content is better than none. Now, I do like the lowest effort videos on YouTube. They're literally just backups of the streams. I do cut it on Twitch so that I cut out the intro and cut out the outro and just have the gameplay in there. But I upload that directly to YouTube. But I mean, some of those videos, I think my highest viewed one has like over 200 hours on it, which kind of blows my mind. It's actually for Disco Elysium, which we played on stream and we were just talking about it earlier. And um, some people I've actually brought in, in from the YouTube channel into the stream. So yeah, dude, go for it. That's awesome. Okay, what would she be interested in? Oh, we did get some new things. We should look at them. What is a leaf covering? A loincloth meant to emphasize one's manliness. Its simple design features a single leaf overlaid on a white cloth. I don't think that that's what she would want. I tried giving her bindings before, and for whatever reason, I don't think that worked. Right? Or did I try giving her armor? Yeah, I don't think that worked for her. A tumbleweed. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I've done a few, like, more in-depth videos, Alex, but man, it just takes a lot of time. I, I did try reviewing a couple games and do proper editing and like do voiceover and all kinds of cuts and stuff. And it was super fun, but man, it takes a long time. So I've only ever done three reviews. Yeah. A silent receiver, a phone that for some reason doesn't let you hear the person on the other end and doesn't let them hear you. So what does it do? I don't get it. So you've been working on an Overwatch 2 beta video, but since you wanted to create 10 to 20 minute vids, the current video is too long, so you'll split it into two. There you go. And if you can focus on like one topic for like a long time, that's fantastic. That's really how you gain an audience. I 
I don't remember if I've already given her that or not. Like this secret to Omnoplata, that sounds like something she would be into. The second button? A button from a school uniform which increases in value as graduation approaches. Hmm. Sacred Tree of Sprig. A branch from a Sakaki tree commonly used in Shinto rituals. It serves as a connection between humans and the gods. I don't know if she'd care for that. An Oblot. A thin edible film made from starch. It's commonly used as a candy wrapper, but also helps cover up the taste of bitter medicine. You know, maybe she would like that. She does take um, a lot of supplements and stuff, so maybe she would like something like that. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. That's cool. Or as long as you have like a, a certain theme that you stick to, Alex, versus like, this video is about cooking. Here's some gameplay. Now we're going to do a vlog. Like if you jump around all over the place, it's kind of hard to maintain an audience. But yeah, if you have some sort of theme, commonality between all the videos, that'll help a lot. Yeah, one video every one to two weeks. That's per Oh, that's fantastic. I wish I could do that. I mean, my videos, I don't really count because they're so easy for me to upload. I usually try to do a video almost as often as I stream. So like about three a week just to keep up, you know? I'm not totally caught up. Hey, she liked it. Nice. You didn't need to go to all this trouble for me. Sweet. Okay, who are we going to hang out with next? Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to start to kind of skip the repetitive text, which we've seen a hundred times before. Maybe we should hang out with Hero. I feel like it's been a while since we hung out with Hero. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'll double check to make sure I'm uh, subscribed to your channel, Alex. I'm probably sure I have, but I'll double check. Room, was it? I think it was. Oh, it's somewhere in the main area. Okay. Oops. So just somewhere around here, we should find Hero. Let's see, you've been trying to upload your VODs to Baldur's Gate 1, and you're going to give up on editing at some point and just upload three hour long videos. That's exactly what I do, Frost. That is exactly what I do. I do not have time to do all that editing. Fantastic if people do, but I do not. It's just, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> all the warts and all. According to the spirits, I had a dream last night. I saw that the spirit world was going to flood us with energy and save us from the school nightmare. How about that? It's a prophecy. Take heart, my man. So, should I hang out with Hero? Sure. You know? Oh, I've got something I wanted to show you. I've got the stigmata on my back. Hey, come on. It's a gift from the gods. And your YouTube is weird because it used to be just Russian content. Oh, because you started a while ago. But recently you've been moving to English and it's all over the place. I think as long as you tag your videos in the correct language, you should be fine. You should be fine. Um, I actually always tag my videos English because it lets you get auto subtitles that way, which helps so much. So Hiro showed me a scar on his back, although I didn't really get what it meant. Hiro and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's give him a present. I mean, why would you not give him presents? What would Hiro like? I know he likes food. What is a man's fantasy? A wash basin intended to give you the courage to seek out a true man's fantasy. Was he kind of a horn dog? I don't remember. Maybe. I think he would like something more spiritual. A meteorite arrowhead. Oh, wait. We had something about, um, yeah, the sacred tree sprig. I bet he'd like that. This is all spiritual. Let's see. You just want to cut out anything that you realize was really dumb or went on too long of a tangent or something? Yeah, exactly, Frost. That's, I mean, and it, it seems like a lot of times I see these videos of gameplay and it's like 30 minutes. And I'm like, how are you going to beat Baldur's Gate? with 30 minute videos. Like that would be so many uploads. Whereas like most of my streams are anywhere from like three videos to maybe like eight or nine on the high end, you know? There's a few that are longer, but it's usually somewhere in between there. But yeah, I've had some like, like 
I don't know, I get very, very few views on my, my videos, but I uploaded, um, how was it? The latest one we did for Life is Strange, the first video for that, part one, and it got like 20 views, like just in like the last 24 hours, which kind of surprised me. Like it can usually take some of my videos a while to hit 20 views. So that was kind of exciting. Yes, yeah, definitely put as many tags as you can. Why not? It doesn't hurt. Okay, let's go ahead and give him this. Oh, oh, such a mysterious power. Is this a true blue Ubart? <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Seeing Hiro so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Well? Hey, Makoto, are you familiar with Kamata? It's a tiny little suburb in Tokyo, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. What about it? Hmm. Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but they appear there. Uh, what does? Uh, um... Umas. Umas are, I think... Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with cryptids, because I know that term from playing Disco Elysium with you guys. <laughs> it's the only time... Or no. Maybe he's talking about spaceships, because he talked about getting um, abducted earlier, remember? Unidentified something something. I bet it might be spaceships. Let's try that. You mean spaceships? I'm right, right? Oh, no. No, those are UFOs, you dingus. Uma is basically an animal version of that. I shouldn't have to tell you more than that, right? So we'll say cryptids. That was my first guess. Hey, that was correct. You're talking about cryptids, right? Unidentified mysterious animals? You know? You got it, and it just so happens they've been appearing in the Lola Kamata. But what kind of cryptids? How about that? The terrifying skyfish. In the West, they're usually just called rods. They can fly, and they have a thin body and a big wide fin. They can move their fins and wave pattern, and lets, lets them move faster than the naked eye can see. Could it be? You ever heard of uh, Anoma Claris? I don't know how I'm saying that. Some people think that's what the skyfish evolved from. And some others think they're an artificial life form, a genetically engineered military superpower. Oh. Isn't that scary as hell? But what would they be doing in Tokyo and in Kamata, no uh, less? Um. Nobody knows, but I think they're dangerous. You know how close Kamata is to Haneda Airport, right? I don't want to wait till it's too late. I've been thinking of, uh, I should call all the airlines. Hmm. They need to know there's a way to get rid of those damn skyfish, and I know what it is. As long as they can pay my fee, I can keep things safe for them. That's what I'm gonna tell them. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. I see a lot of jail time in your future if you do. Plus, isn't that like super occult? I just don't understand. <laughs> this dude's a nut. <laughs> True. I think if you could describe it, then it's identified, right? You have identified it. <laughs> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room. Oh, music's changing. That means it's a time change. 10 p.m. Go to bed. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's soon the doors to the d Okay, then. Yep. 10 p.m. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. <laughs> That's the night something's gonna happen. Look at all the crabs. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay then, how about to make you extra special, you could be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. 
Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey thing clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. <laughs> it's like we've heard multiple origin stories of this, right? And Alex, you just checked and you've hidden everything where you speak Russian except the number one most popular vid. 5.2 thousand views. That's awesome, dude. And you got to make a reaction video of you reacting to your cringe early content that is hidden out 100%. Yes. No, that's it, those are more fun to do when you have an audience for sure, Alex. I think my most popular video is like one point one and a half thousand or something. I forget. Um, one of them was a like a jump scare video from playing a VR game a long time ago. And then one of them is actually a review that has a little over a thousand view. <laughs> crabs are very popular in video games. Crabs are assholes in Elden Ring. I hate crabs. <laughs> They're so tough. Good morning, everyone. Get Standard intro. Okay. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. What? What's going on? Huh? Was that someone screaming? Oh, did somebody just get killed first thing in the morning? I think it came from the dining hall. This is where we're going. How convenient. Uh, Makoto, oh, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hey, therapy android, how's it going? It's good to see you. We were just talking about you. Beginning of the stream therapy, we, uh, we found a music room in this game and there was a piano. So I made sure to get a screenshot. I'll post it in the Discord later. <laughs> How are you doing, Therapy? Let's see. And you just hope your new content gets you views, watch time, and subs. That'll be considered a success, even if it's like 100 views consistently. That'd be awesome. Yeah, my views do not get 100 views uh, hundred views consistently. I think as far as my videos are concerned, I might have like 15 over the 100 mark or 20, something like that. But I have a lot of videos, so that's not a whole lot for me. But that'd be cool. Got to be consistent. Gotta be consistent, dude. All right, what was Hero pointing at? Hina! Oh no! Are you okay? What happened? What's going on here? She, she killed her. Genocide! Jill killed Hina. It doesn't look dead. You gotta be kidding! Oh, that's good to hear. Therapy. Glad to hear you're doing good. What's all new? What's what you been up to? No, no, no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way, she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh, well, Toko and Hina, all of a sudden, they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? You SOB! Our giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> no, Therapy, we have to wrap up pretty soon here. I wish it was a long stream, but uh, we never do that on Tuesdays, unfortunately. But Thursday... I don't have work on Friday. That will be a long stream. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? <laughs> totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally non-adorable boys, just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. My beautiful scissors! I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulge myself for who knows how long. <laughs> nice, Alex. You know, Alex, I think I want to let you request your game. And then I have to up the limit because we have, this is a, a viewer requested game and we already have three more requests already in the docket. We got Hasifas. Um, let's see. I think there was three. We had Hasifas and the most recently Phantasma requested hers. Wasn't there another one? I thought we had three or maybe this is the third in a row. But yeah, we, we've been doing a lot of viewer requests. So I definitely need to up that. And is it Tuesday? Yes. Oh, you're so lucky, Therapy. That is when you know you're enjoying your vacation. When you don't even know 
what day of the week it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it is Tuesday. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Okay, then. Let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero. Help me. Um, She just sneezed? Like, I don't know what her problem is. Uh, sure thing. <laughs> so crazy. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. And dang, you're almost at 1,400 tokens already, Frost. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it was really just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Well, yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I could get some therapy. So to pick a game right now, Frost, it's set to 4,000 tokens, but I'm going to up it to 5,000 just to give myself a little bit more of a buffer in between viewer requests because like, when everybody's pretty consistent, uh, <laughs> they can get requested fairly often, more often than I expected, actually. But it just kind of scales with uh, how many people are, you know, earning that many tokens, I guess. But then I also kind of like skew it a little bit when um, we do like we've updated things like when we do hype trains, for example, I drop tokens like crazy, which, of course, changes that as well. <laughs> oh, happy belated birthday therapy. When was your birthday? That's awesome. You're almost to where I'm at. Not quite. <laughs> Nothing changes. Nothing changes when you hit the big 4-0. So, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let's find out what that meant. Let me guess. The fight was because of Sakura. But... At first, I tried to just ignore it. But if you let jerk buttholes get, you, uh, get to you all the time, you'll never have time left for your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. That's a little bit more premeditated, right? Well, how do I turn off auto? There we go. I accidentally turned that on. Oh, both really good games, Michael. Both really good games. <laughs> yeah, hurry up there, but you can catch up to me. I mean... Depending on, like, where our birthdays are, I mean, that won't be possible because I turned 40 before you turned 39. But, you know, depending on if you're, like, less than a year apart, you can technically catch up to somebody until it's their birthday and then they're, you know, a year older than you, even though they're only a few months older than you. Oh, and it was at the end of April, and you didn't have any birthday party yet because you were on a trip for work. Oh, I remember you were on a trip for work. Right, well, awesome that you get to, uh, you know, have vacation and relax now. That's so cool. Well, because we missed it, therapy. Can't let this pass. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear therapy. Happy birthday to you. There we go. You can't get away from that. <laughs> Happy birthday, therapy. Even though we did miss it because you were on your work trip and stuff. We miss you. We love you. So happy you can still join us. Okay, so she got in a fight with Genocide Jack talking about uh, Sakura. So when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, he and his eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the doors were going to fly off the hinges. Oh, of course, therapy. Anytime. Least I can do. The least I can do. That and piano pictures. And there she stood before us. Hina. Oh. Huh? You're hurt. What happened? Oh, crap. Okay, I think I know who the next death is. It's going to be Genocide Jack murdered by Sakura. Huh? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. 
Koto, hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. Uh, that's the demented... Uh, it's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. Oh, oh yeah, she's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Jill's dead. Damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It might be too obvious, though, Michael. It might be just way too obvious. No forgiveness! I can't forgive this! Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. It wasn't Hero that did it. What? what? Uh, I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hero just took off running. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going yeah. on? Uh, what's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hiro's spot in the room. It would seem... <laughs> Blocky! Nobody has died yet, Blocky. How are you doing? It's good to see you. But um, I think we're going to have a death very soon. Very, very soon. I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... <sighs> I'm drawing a line. Right here and now. Oh, after Chihiro. I think... I kind of... The, the timeline's a little bit fuzzy for me, but I believe after um, Chihiro, we've lost Taka, Hifumi, and finally Celeste. So we've lost three more people, I believe, after that case. Drawing the line. Goodbye. What does that mean? <laughs> Wait, Sakura... Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. <laughs> oh, I totally understand. We missed you, Flocky. How have you been? What's new? The only ones left were... Just me and Kyoko. I guess now's the time to talk to her. We're just by ourselves, right? Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. Let's get some clarification. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. Whoa, whoa, that's not what I expected as a response. <laughs> oh, I've been great, Plucky. Things are good. Things are really good. Actually, earlier this week, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but uh, there's this new gaming device called the Steam Deck, and I pre-ordered it like a year ago, but it's been very tough to get, and they're just slowly releasing them. I finally got the ability to buy it this week on Monday. So I put in my order and it has changed from processing to shipping soon. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can get it by Friday. I don't know how long their shipping takes. Um, but when I do get it, it'd be nice if I had it uh, Friday because I have that day off. But we'll see. But I'm super excited to play around with that thing. It's basically like, a, if you're not familiar with it, it's like a Nintendo Switch, but it plays all your PC games, which I'm primarily a PC gamer. Most of my games are on Steam, so... It's kind of perfect for me. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. That's true. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. <laughs> no, you haven't. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Yeah, you did. So what they do, Plucky, you know how like everything is kind of hard to manufacture right now, like PS5s are rare, Xboxes are rare, all that kind of stuff. And Steam, they, they're not like a huge manufacturer. So what they're doing is they're giving it first come, first serve. So like depending on what when you bought a Steam Deck, 
people have like an estimation of when you're going to get it. It just tells you vaguely on their website you're going to get it quarter one or quarter two or whatever. But um, people have also posted like this is when we think based on how quick they're rolling out. This is when you'll probably get yours. And yeah, mine was on the spot. Like I knew I had pre-ordered exactly 18 minutes and 35 seconds after they went live. And last Thursday, they rolled it out all the way to 18 minutes and 25 seconds. I was so close to the cutoff to getting it last week. So Mon they do it every Monday and Thursday. So Monday, I finally got my email to order it. <laughs> it's wild. Chavo, what's up, dude? Yes, we are. This is a long game. So, and it was a pre-order, so it's expected when they only make so many units at a time. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, the nice thing about it, though, is... Like, you can get it and be guaranteed to get one, you know, sometime in the next year. You don't have to, like, buy it from a scalper or something like you had to with a PlayStation 5. Those things are so hard to get. Anyway. It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right, so now where am I supposed to go? There's no point in going anywhere else right now. Am I supposed to look around this room? Let's see what's down here. The refrigerator. Inside are packs of blood probably used for transfusions. We saw that from an earlier case. And there's the trash can. The room and everything in it are back to normal. Monokuma must have done it. Yeah, this place was trashed. Yeah, it's exactly, it, it's not even that plucky. So like to pre-order it, it's just $5. So like if you have any interest in it at all, let's go ahead and pre-order it. And uh, you put your $5 down. And then when your time in line comes up, you get an email and you get three days to purchase it. So like, if you're still interested, then you can buy it. If not, you just let it go. I know it's so ridiculous, but good job getting on launch day, Michael. I got really lucky. I got it like the week after launch. It's pretty incredible because of how hard they were to get. But I also just got super lucky. Am I supposed to talk to her again? Aha. Uh -huh. I need to talk about this other thing. There we go. Let's talk about something else. So what is it you want to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me. You'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Oh yeah, Alex. I'm guessing, are they like pretty much only in scalpers hands right now because no new ones are coming to the country I'm guessing that sucks <laughs> Kyoko I hurried to catch up to her she walked ahead in silence and in silence I chased her you know I had a I had an idea for a YouTube series of videos? <laughs> Tell me what you think. So like the Steam Deck is kind of neat in a way that because it's a PC, you can technically play anything on there. You know, you can play all your PC games. You can play all your console games from emulated systems, things like that. And everybody just doesn't know how well they work. I was I was I had an idea of like rather than doing like a top 10 games of like, you know, my favorite games, maybe doing like a top 10 games from every year. Like here's my top 10 games released in 1982, which is the year I was born and just keep on going from there every year. Right. But I review them all on the steam deck, which not only lets me talk about my favorite games, but I also get to uh, demonstrate how well the compatibility is on the steam deck. I thought, Oh, it kind of killed two birds with one stone, you know? Oh, and the prices are getting even higher. Oh, I bet, Alex. That makes sense when there's no more influx, right? And Plocky, you don't buy consoles, so you don't even know about the situation because they're just too expensive here. Um, oh, and where are you at, Plocky, where they're too expensive? Let's see. Oh, in Brazil. Oh, great. You know, we had a chance to move to Brazil a long time ago, my parents. They didn't end up taking the job, but they almost did. And uh, yeah. <laughs> at least from a gaming standpoint i totally understand what you're talking about i've heard in brazil for the longest time i don't even know if they still do it but they were selling the sega master system way 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 later into its lifetime while everywhere else got like a sega genesis and then the sega saturn and the dreamcast they still sold sega master systems in brazil <laughs> it's like because everything else is just so ridiculously expensive anytime something was imported the price like skyrocketed 
but the Sega Master System, I guess they sold, um, uh, it was actually being manufactured there. So it was like really cheap. Oh, true, Elegant. That's when it's going to be tough to pick a top 10. Honestly, if I go back to 90, 1982, I don't even know if I've played 10 games from 1982. I might not have. So those first 10 years are going to be pretty easy and it's going to get tougher and tougher as I go along. Let's see. And it might be too specific, Alex. Maybe you could divide it up into topics like top games for uh, Steam Deck and top games per year. You know what I was thinking about doing this, just doing my top games from every year, but just doing it on the Steam Deck and never mentioning it. Just like, <laughs> just like never saying anything about it. Just like talking about my top 10 games and it's all being shown live running on a Steam Deck. And I just kind of test each game out and talk about it and why it's one of my favorites. Just kind of like, are you not going to mention that you got this device you're playing all these games on? It's like, no. <laughs> no, I'm just showing off that it works. Let's see. Oh, that makes sense, Blocky. Yeah, that makes sense. And in Mexico, you may find the PS5 in the price. You mean you might find it at a good price, Chavo? Yes, yeah, Mega Drive was a Genesis. That's true. I don't know what they called the Master System elsewhere. I think it had like a weird name in Japan, like the SG2000 or something. Okay, so we're chasing after... Um, uh, I can't think of my name. Kyoko. Kyoko. And eventually we arrived. Oh, moment of truth. <gasps> you made it. Good job, Alex. 4,000 tokens. The dressing room. So the something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. I thought we were done with alter ego. But you said we didn't need alter ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs alter ego. He has business with us. <laughs> Blocky at your tokens. Hey, everything takes time. Everything takes time. Huh? Right. Alter ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter ego wants to ask us something? I guess let's talk to the laptop. Um. Hello. So, um, it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto. Kyoko's finger glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. <laughs> and Michael already crossed 500. That's going pretty quick. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, um... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. That's a good idea. Except we don't want to get the laptop to get found out. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, why? You, you said my job was done, right? I kind of thought about that too, Plucky. It seems like a super advanced AI, but it, I guess it can't use the camera. Or no, I guess it can use the camera because it can see us, but it can't use the microphone to hear us in the laptop. Maybe it doesn't have a microphone. But to just stop there, saying I finished my work, but I don't want to do that. I want to be able to help. I want to work as hard as everyone else so we can all get out of here. That's Oh, yeah. Anytime you want, Alex. Anytime you want, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's just going to the end of a list because we already have like three requests in front of you. But I will definitely slot you in there. And that's what Master would want, too. So to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of this school, the only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, it's basically suicide. I'm positive the Mastermind would find out about it. They'd find about you, and they'd... You'd agree, right, Kyoko? So... I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. I'm gonna do my best. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. If you spend five tokens, can you reserve a future game pick? 
<laughs> I don't think it works like that. That'd be what, blocking someone else from requesting the game, Frost, until you reach that amount? I think it, you'd prefer somebody else to request the same game you would want before you do it. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. All right, Alex, have a wonderful lunch. Thank you for the lurk, dude. Too admirable, too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked me before, right, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. I... He'll go. To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind will really notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. <clears throat> and Michael, for you, it's 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> you got to get to bed, dude. <laughs> So coerce someone with enough tokens into picking the game I want. You could do that, Frost. <laughs> you could like, you know, hey, if you do your game, I'll give you like a thousand tokens. Like help seed your next request as well. Although I've made it so you cannot give people tokens. <laughs> so it doesn't quite work like that. But hey, he's our friend. So I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if... If you were in his place, would you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. Yeah, so he can see us moving. He just can't, like, um, hear us, I guess. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there is no surveillance camera. A room without a surveillance camera. Maybe in the secret room? I don't remember, to be honest. Aw, oh, thank you for the lurk, Alex. That's it. The secret room you told me about. And Michael, you're a night owl, actually. You don't go to bed until it's real late. I'm kind of the same way on the weekends. I feel like during the early day, daytime hours, I should be constructive. I should be doing some kind of work, some kind of project, fixing up something. But when it's nighttime, that's my goof off gaming, movie time, hang out with friends. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera Indeed. in there. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an ethernet port on the wall. Now you need However, an ethernet cord. Just because there's no camera in there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll have to move Alter Ego and the mastermind may spot us going to the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Yoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you can handle him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... Then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramp for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? See, yeah, for me, Plucky, Sundays are actually very constructive. Like, I like to goof off Friday night, and Friday if I have the day off, which I do every other Friday. And Saturday, besides my stream, I don't have anything scheduled. That's just fun time. But Sunday, we do our grocery shopping. I do all my laundry, run the vacuum, all that kind of stuff. I have a lot of like weekly maintenance stuff I do on Sunday. And usually we try to get some house project done every Sunday. All right, we started packing them up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. Shh, you can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. That was Makoto. a weird noise. 
In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Oh, thank goodness. Good. The game's giving me a time to stop and save it and quit. Perfect timing. I was worried. This happened last time. The game went like, uh, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. And it never had a break for me to save it. But it was like one of the uh, um, uh, cases, the judgments, and it just took forever. It was wild. So nice to have breaks to save it. Let's save right there. Perfect. All right, it's time to go. Yeah, unfortunately, I have work in the morning. I have work in like, when do I start? I work in seven hours. <laughs> and I still have to go to sleep and drive, brush my teeth, get my breakfast and lunch ready. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a long night for me. Is that right? Seven hours? No, eight hours. I have work in eight hours. Okay. Like, that, that can't be right. I have to leave the house in seven hours, though. All right, time to go. 